Louie's like freaking out. Hey guys, good evening. Um, we are here. Uh, what is today? There's some losing track Thursday, April 16th. Um, and we're ready for some bedtime stories. I hope you are. Hey, first to let you guys know, if you come on and watch with us live, please message something in the comments. Um, we can't see who's on there unless you message anything, so, or like something. Um, we so gotta anyway. say that again later if more people join later and we don't know. This, yeah. So we gotta say like in the middle of the world. <laughs> Jaden um, wants to share with you tonight actually one of his favorite stories. This time little. it's not a lie. This time mom's not just saying I like the story, so like, most of the other times he told me, he was like, Mom, just just because I picked the book doesn't mean it's my favorite book. But um, this is one I actually truly do like. It is actually his favorite, huh? Not my favorite. Not your absolute favorite? It was your favorite when you were little. Anyway. I don't want to say, I don't say any other books because I don't okay. want to copy It's a special book. All right, Jaden, he's reading it tonight. Tell him the title and who it's by. The title is The Duckling Gets a Cookie. Worlds and pictures by Mo Williams. And this time, no, we Weems. did not. This time, we did not put a plank on it like we did with the cat and the panda. <laughs> the panda and the hat. All right, you ready? Yep. Yeah. I like this front page. It just says cookies. It's his favorite. I do not look like the look of that title. The duckling gets a cookie. <laughs> Hello, scooty scoop scoop. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks. Flappy flip flap. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all these nuts. Look at all those nuts. Those nutty, nutty nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. <laughs> You asked for it? Politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? <laughs> yes. I actually don't like nuts much, but I'm trying to make it like. <gasps> so, you got a cookie with nuts just by asking. Politely. I ask for things all the time. <laughs> I ask to drive a bus. I ask for a hot dog ponies. I ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have much to be a big bus, you know. Right now, I'm asking why. Why, why, why? Here, let's show them those pictures up closer because they're really funny. The pigeon's like freaking out. Do like you guys ever one, do that? The final one, he's just like... Uh, kind of like what we do sometimes, huh? When we really, really want <laughs> something. You think it's unfair? Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug. I ask to stay up late. I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the time I've asked for my own personal iceberg. Oh, yeah. I'm the askingest pigeon in town. What do I get what I ask for? Ooh, does he get what he asks for? The next page is just complete chaos. No! I'm surprised the cookie didn't break. <laughs> It's just flying on the side, like. To the the cookie hit the floor, it would have broke. It's not a fail. Flappy flap. Ducklings get everything. Oh. How many times have y'all said that? These two boys, you and your brother. It's not fair. <laughs> Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I can give it to you. And another thing. Hubba hubba. Woo! I don't even know what he was going to say. You're giving me that cookie with nuts. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now he likes the look of that title. Hmm. That is really cool duckling. Chomp. Yes, so. Now this is what asking gets you. May I have another cookie, please? But this time with no nuts. <laughs> is that the end? This is what asking gets you. 
may I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. You actually want a cookie? You know what? He's lucky. We had made cookies this weekend, and there is one lonely cookie left. Without, with no nuts? With no nuts. We don't make cookies but with nuts. But one thing the duckling did mess up is he didn't get milk. And obviously, Mommy did. Because if you give a mouse a cookie, you got to give him some milk. <laughs> All right. got to take the cookie in the milk. got to put the cookie in the milk, and you got to eat it. So, should we ask like crazy when we want something and go nuts so and say, it's not fair, it's not fair. But if we just politely ask, is that the way to get sometimes what we would like? Tastes like it, huh? It's got a nice crunchy cookie there. No, Ruby, no more cookies in there. She thinks there's another cookie in there for her. See, here she is. Say hi. She's trying to get the cookie. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> About took the computer or the camera down. Sorry. No, it is tilted. It's like you got it on the side of a volcano or something. You guys are falling, falling. All right, guys. Uh, next one. Wait, next one. I was going to read another one because that was really short. So. Liz Ming. Um, this one's called Good Night Blessings. Ruby? Now Ruby's tilting the camera and shaking it. Yeah, but nobody likes to sit still on the bed. You have to put the cookie and the milk. It's called science. Yeah. The perfect book to have followed that would have been um, if you give a mouse a cookie. Mom. Really? I don't think we have that one. And right now the library is closed. Online. Well, yeah, but I can't open a book we and read it We can do Libby. Them. Yeah, but I can't open a book and read it to them. Uh huh. But you guys, that is a good app. It's called Libby app, and that on that you can, with our local libraries, if you have a library card, you can actually download um, and rent audio books or just regular reading books and read them off your uh, tablet or phone. Um, so Jaden loves the audio books to help him go to sleep, and he likes to rewatch these videos and Miss Festa's videos and any other videos that anybody posts of story times. Right? Those are good too. Kind of like an audio book. That's another option for these. If you're not ready to quite to watch them right when they're live, you can always go back and watch them as you're trying to fall asleep. Maybe you after your own bedtime story. So here is our last one. This one's called Goodnight Blessings. Since we did these short books, I figured we'd do one more. Um, and reminder, if you guys want to read a story sometime, just message me and let me know what book you'd like to read and when you'd like to do it. You can either do it live or pre-record it. We've actually pre-recorded one for like one night just in case if um, we've got something going on so that we can still post one to you guys. So you're welcome to do that too. All right, here we um, go. Also, one thing we do have to say again because we said at the beginning, but if you just joined, um, if you want us to see you, in the comments, you have to write in something. We can't just see you. You have to type in something. Yeah, you have to comment. So there might be like six people watching this, but you guys haven't put in any comments, so. That's right. He likes the feedback. Give him his feedback. <laughs> Ming is still wondering what clothes he should wear. <laughs> All right, guys. So before I climb up in my bed and snuggle under my cozy covers, before I hug my teddy tight and rub his funny little nose, before my mommy reaches down and gives me one last goodnight kiss, I lift my arms and raise my head and thank the Lord for all of his blessings. Thank you for the sweet smelling flowers, faces lifted to the sky. Thank you for the cloudy sky filled with drippy drops of, what do you think it's going to be, Jaden? You can guess. Water. Rain, which is water. Thank you. See, I'm going more scientific. Thank you for the splashing rain falling down <laughs> on rocky, rocky what? What do you think it is, Jaden? Peaks. So Thank you like, for the snowy peaks rising above the earth. I feel like I'm falling. Thank you for the rich green earth, home to stomping, roaring, 
beasts. Thank you for the furry beasts loved by me and all God's children. Thank you for your busy children. One of them is my best, probably friend. Yes, that is. Thank you for my favorite friend. We play all day beside the, what do you think it's going to be? Trees? See. See the beach. Thank, try not to shake too much, Jaden. It shakes the whole camera. Thank you for the shimmering sea filled with shiny swimming. What do you think it's going to be? Shining swimming. Dolphins. Fish, maybe? Fish. Dolphins. Fish. Thank you for the glittery fish. I watch them with my mom and dad. Mom and dad. Thank you for my mom and dad. They read to me beneath the moon. Moon. Thank you for the glowing moon reaching down and giving me. Jane, don't shake her. One last good night kiss. Good night. What I was doing close to the end, I was looking at them so I don't get any more alarm. <laughs> so. And we'd be right, he was licking me like a. This book lady. reminds me of our morning devotion this morning, which was um, the verse was Be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. <laughs> For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So, giving thanks and everything, to everything, because God has given us everything, right? So, and if we have a more of a grateful heart, that shows that we're more content. Jaden, don't stop it. It shows that we're more content and we're thankful for what we have um, versus always wanting more, kind of like with our duck and gets a cookie. He wanted and wanted and wanted. Um, and when he asked nicely, he got it, but. Generally, if we're grateful for the things that we have, we actually want and need less. So let's thank God for all he's done for us. And um, Jaden, just a minute. We're going to pray. Give me a second. Nope, we're going to pray. Let's Jane, play. You're getting distracted. Thank you. God, we thank you um, for your earth, for the sun and the moon and the stars and the people that you put in it and the animals that roam the earth, God, and the flowers and the plants and the trees. God, we thank you for everything. Most of all, we thank you for Jesus. Um, God, we thank you for giving us homes and families to love us. But most of all, we thank you for loving us just the way we are. We love you in Jesus' name. All God's children said, amen. All right, guys, I pray you have a wonderful night's rest, and we look forward uh, to another story tomorrow night. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. You must. That oh. good night in the comment section is Ming because Ming's just. Oh, like... Ming said good night. Ming's too tired to talk. Me. Me. Oh, good night. Me. Oh.